The fully end-to-end -end encrypted conversation that you just had with the large language model that you always use, such as Google Gemini, Claude, DeepSeek, and others, can be leaked in real time to any adversary just from monitoring your network traffic. This is easy for anyone to do, especially if you're on a shared Wi-Fi network, such as being at work, school, or a coffee shop. Even if you use a wired connection at your own home, a government or nation-state threat actor can still monitor your conversation topics at the ISP level. This attack is called WhisperLeak, which is a novel side-channel attack recently discovered and published by Microsoft. They tested this attack on 28 different popular chatbots from different providers, achieving a near-perfect accuracy. This doesn't leak the specific words of your conversation, but rather the general subjects of what you're talking about. Microsoft has already patched all the models under their umbrella, but most of the other providers remain vulnerable. Until they issue patches, the only way to stay safe is to locally host your own LLM. Perhaps you should be doing this anyways if you care about privacy, but again, this attack exposes you to any adversary that can snoop on your internet traffic and doesn't require the LLM provider to actually share your data with anyone. This attack works since most popular chatbots today are something we call streaming language models. This means that the chatbot will generate the response one token at a time. For the sake of simplicity, we can think of a token as being a singular word. Rather than generating their entire response all at once, they'll sequentially calculate each word, one at a time, using the previous words as context to determine the next word. The chatbot could just keep this process internal, waiting for the entire response to be constructed before transmitting it to the user, However, most chatbots today stream chunks of these tokens to the user in real time so that the text is visible to the user as fast as possible. This is why you see the chatbot's response getting typed out in real time. This is mainly done for the sake of catering to the user's preference for immediate feedback. Simply just having a toggle to tell the service to wait and then transmit the entire response all at once would easily counter this attack, but have never actually seen this available as an option anywhere. Of course, these chunks of tokens are streamed to the user using TLS encryption. Rather than breaking this encryption, this attack is a side channel where the contents of your conversation can be leaked due to observing the sizes and timings of this encrypted traffic. Without getting too much into the lower level details of how this encryption works, we can just go ahead and say that the size of the ciphertext, which is just the encrypted data, is equal to that of the plaintext. The researchers hypothesize that by observing the sequence and inter-arrival times of these encrypted packets, despite containing entire groups of tokens instead of individual tokens, would actually contain enough information to be able to classify the general topic of the conversation. To test this, the researchers trained a binary classifier to distinguish between a specific target topic and general background traffic. They chose money laundering to be the target topic for the proof of concept. Keep in mind, the only input data into these models was fully encrypted network traffic. I won't go through the machine learning process in detail, but at the end of it, their best models were able to achieve incredibly high accuracy scores. This means that their models were able to detect when a user was discussing money laundering with a chatbot just by observing their encrypted network traffic. They also simulated a more realistic surveillance scenario, simulating an adversary monitoring 10,000 different conversations with only a single user talking about the target topic, while the other 9,999 users were discussing regular topics. During this more realistic scenario, many of their models had 100% precision, meaning that all of the conversations that it flagged were related to the target topic, while catching up to half of the total target conversations. This means that it had no false positives at all, making something like this worthwhile for governments to implement and use for investigation leads. This is already highly accurate performance. Microsoft even called it startling. In addition to this, they also noted that over time, as adversaries collect more training data, attacks like this will actually become even more effective. As I said at the start of the video, Microsoft has already patched this for all of the chatbot services that fall under their umbrella. OpenAI, Mistral, and XAI have also deployed protections at this time, but other providers have yet to catch up. The fix they issued was actually incredibly simple. They added an additional key into each of the chatbot's responses, called obfuscation, containing a random sequence of variable length text. This masks the length of each response, and they found through testing that it significantly reduces the effectiveness of the adversary's model so much that they have deemed this attack no longer a practical risk. 
Overall, after seeing more and more of these side channels, it's becoming quite difficult to think of anything as being truly 100% secure. In this case, there's no reason to believe that this was done intentionally. Attacks like this will always continue to be discovered, and hopefully patched, just due to the complexity of our systems and the amount of people looking for ways to exploit them. This is true even for devices that don't directly connect to the internet. For example, we know that there are ways to pull data off of devices, such as video feeds off of specific cameras, by wirelessly listening in on leaked RF signals. And of course, with the increase of coverage from mesh networks like Amazon Sidewalk, the attack surface, even for non-internet connected devices, keeps on growing. Coincidentally, the mitigation strategy for this attack is actually quite similar to one of the suggested mitigation strategies for the WhatsApp and Signal side channel attacks, although these would require randomized timings of delivery receipts rather than randomized amounts of data. The WhatsApp and Signal side channels are currently unpatched and can leak a lot more sensitive data than your cloud-hosted LLM conversations. If you're interested in learning more about these attacks, click here to check out that video. A few days after this video is posted, click here to learn more about Ring, Flock, and Amazon Sidewalk. If you made it this far, you might be interested in subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.